Yes, I'm at the tailor again. But today is not a. Uh, I'm not. It's not like I want to show you some super hyper cars. I wanted to show you this beautiful, beautiful car. This this is just beautiful. So how long has he how, how long have you been taking care of his car? We've actually had this car with us under our care uh, since 2011. So it's about ten, about ten years yeah, now. Coming to it. Yeah. So, wow. so it comes in once a year for annual detailing, and uh, we take care of everything from the inside to the outside. Oh, yeah, can I have a look? And then even the paint and everything, yes. huh? Yeah. So when you spotted some blemish or whatever, then yeah, over time, of course, uh, this car doesn't have paint protection film. Okay. So uh, over time, when you get uh, stone chips and such or damages, we'll repaint the panels to match and uh, do the necessary restoration, ah. and then the car is detailed back in. So it's back every year for. Work. So it comes back once a year. Once a year. Wow. Is it? Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure this owner loved the car a lot. If ever. If ever anyone bought this car, okay, it's not for sale. Uh, I need to say that first. But this is how a car that has been taken care of by Darren and his team looks like. All right, look at that. Now, I have, I mean personally, this this is the design that changed the fate of Audi, right? Back in 2008, when Walter De Silva penned out the A5 with a large grille, these beautiful headlamps with the daytime running lights, it was a revolution. And oh my god, it still looks so nice. Oh, it has a character body, body kit. So the paint is original, right? Uh, most of it is original, uh, barring the front bumper and bonnet, the areas where you normally get stone chips and such. Ah, so this round it came back, what do you guys do? Just for the annual detailing, we redetail the paintwork, we yep. the interior, put a coating system on. Yep. Yeah. Took us yep. about a week and a half and uh, the car looks... A week and a half? A week and a half. My god. How many places put a week and a half's work? I don't, I don't think many businessmen. See, that's the thing, right? A lot of people will be like, hey, how much is this car worth now? Blah, 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 blah. Hey, but as long as the owner did not sell it, yeah. it is worth the price he bought it at, which exactly. is 400 over 1,000 exactly. ringgit, right? That's it what is, he bought it for. Right? Actually. It's 400 plus 1,000 ringgit. It's half, a, almost half a million. But he takes care of it. He loves it. He drives it. Who cares about what? Carlis or Muda says, right, is still a beautiful coupe. And I think for this generation, the preface lift. I like the preface lift a lot. Yeah, lovely. So, all the cars that are being taken care of, I mean, as long as they are once your customer, yeah. detailing customer, yeah. and then they can always come back yes. to, to. They come back for their regular weekly cleans, yeah, and yeah. Like that. yeah. But uh, of course, Charges apply lah. It's not like you come back, then everything is free for the for life, for yeah. lifetime. Yeah. Hey guys, another thing. Those eight-year warranty, ten-year warranty, right? I need to ask you one thing. Think about the row of shop lots around where you stay. You also are, huh? like where you, you, you stay in SS2, right? Yeah. So you think about the shop lots there. Right? How many last ten years? <laughs> Even SS2 mall. <laughs> This is too more also tough up. So a lot of times, right? They, the, the, the shops change. Imagine you came to KL, you're someone from Pahang, you came to KL, the guy say eight year warranty. Four years later you come back, the detailing shop become a Bakute or it does, it does, or Actually it does happen a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're brand new and after two, three years they're no longer there. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. I noticed the white colour of this car is different. Yes. Oh this is the Yes. That's the one that's wrapped with a matte finish. But it's a satin, right? It's a satin finish. Why are there parts that are glossy? Because uh, I had an accident. Oh, oh, oh he yeah. had an accident. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. All right, guys. So, yep, again, I'm in auto detailer because I just love coming here and catch out Darren. That's why he has unfinished jobs. <laughs> <laughs> right? Here's a beautiful A series. Here's a, if you look at this, you see most cars behind the bumper, there's nothing. 
a Porsche behind the bumper is everything. So do not rear end a Porsche. <laughs> everything is there and you're gonna pay it through your nose man. Yup. So if you yeah, if you just wanna drop by and meet this guy, he's a legend in our line, you know. No for me it oh is man. la. Oh for man. me it is la. The oh things man. the things that you do, the things that you do, for me it is, alright? So drop by and ask Darren and check it out. Alright? Cheers. I just left. Thank you bro. Yep, yeah, that's my car. And uh oh. I'll cut this out. I'll cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are things that they do as well. Full, complete restoration. Basically, from every single hose, every single cable, your your cooling system, your wiring harness, everything, Darren is able to source it for you and do it up. Even a new dashboard, every single thing. A custom paint. This is the paint that Porsche is a oh, green metallic. It's a standard paint Porsche sample. paint, right? It's a special paint assembly. Yeah, paint. yeah. Lovely. Would this look good on my car? <laughs> Alright guys, that's about it. And this is Auto Detailer. Guys, do you know that Every single day, after office hours, there is a jam, right? And no matter how you try to hop into the opposite lane or the lane inside or look at ways to try and see which is the fastest route to go home, you won't change anything. It will still be the same the next day and the next day and the next day. So all you need to do is just to slowly train yourself to accept it. And then one way to relax is to come into the innermost lane, which is the fast lane as we call it. Put two of your tires on the white track so that you leave a wide margin for the inevitable motorcycles. You don't even need to complain about them. Like, oh, why are they going so fast in between the cars in traffic jam? Don't they know it's dangerous? Blah, 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 blah. No, let it be. Because the motorcycle lanes are really bad, right? So just put two of your tires on the white track here and then slowly inch up and chill. Look at the grass, right? Look at the Kit Kat ice cream, the KFC meals, Great Eastern billboards, Milo, principal, I don't know what's that, stupid billboards put too much text on the billboard. That's for a magazine ad, not for your billboard. Dum dum. Who's your agency? Or you are the agency, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, just chill and look at the beautiful CX-5 in front with the added chrome accent to pretend it is a CX-8. <laughs> and that fancy plate, ooh, number two, that's a expensive plate you have there. And uh, yeah, just chill because you can't do anything about it. Right, just slowly look at the bird, the magpie, and um, relax. Yeah, that's that's what I do on in traffic jams. I'm I'm never stressed about it. Yeah. And some people will say, yeah, you're, because you're not in a rush. What rush are we in? Right. What is late? What is early? Just chill. We're all gonna die anyway. One day. Hopefully not today. But we do not know when. Uh, appreciate every moment. Right? 
remember back in MCO or during lockdown where all of us miss coming out, where all of us miss coming out and see the jam and we feel excited about the jam? Yes. If you can tell yourself to maintain this mindset every day, you'll be fine with it. And at the end of the day, most of the frustrations that we have is just our own mindset, to be honest. Nothing changed out there. It's just how we see it, how we experience it. And um, You know, Federal Highway is built so many years ago, but it is built properly. It is the old Malaysia where we know how to build roads, where government officials are proper officials, where they make sure the roads are well built and then they signed off. Unlike all the new highways that we have, they're all crap shit, but because it's a friend of a friend of a friend who's a contractor, and um, everything gets approved, everything gets signed off, even though they are, they are like waves going underneath for a new road. Right, look at Federal Highway, it's an old road, it's a 40 year old, but it's still fine. It's the foundation, right? Oh well. And how long do they need to fix KWSP? Remember the fire that burned away a lot of documents? Still being covered, still being renovated. Fighting who's the contractor, maybe? Aye. Oh well. Ah, that's Bond Estate. Lovely. Some of the units of their condo, that beautiful condo that's being built over there, Bond Estates, some of them actually contracted the uh, ID designers that participated in the first interior design challenge that we did, the Horizon Design Challenge, where the designers are supposed to use uh, Volvo Design Language to design a unit in Bond Estate. Of course, there was no commitment from the developer, but then we did uh, an event where the owners who bought the units are invited to look at the designs in, and if there are there are some that they like they can contact the designers straight and then hire them to design their units over there of which I have no idea who did what but at least this year's uh, the one that we did this year uh, Eco World is actually um, actually building it and I think that's an amazing thing that we're able to pull it off happy and uh, and for those of you who are about to renew your insurance do remember this all right use pro mileage and you can save 40 percent let's say your road tax per year is 70 ringgit but then your insurance is 2,000 ringgit. You pay one shot 2,000 ringgit. Or you can pay in installments, right? You buy 5,000 km first and then you pay 60% of the cost, right? And then after you use, you pay, you top up another uh, 20% and then you top up another 10%, right? And at the end of the day, it's the same price as what you would have paid anyway. But it's able to help you pay as you use or if you use less you pay less mm. well. and of course for those of you who wanted a side business who lost your source of income you can actually uh, look at pro nano where with five thousand ringgit you can start a car wash business 
all the equipments, everything given to you, even have an app to help you collect money so you don't need to worry about that. And then all you need to do is just to hire one person or you yourself can even wash it. So easy. And you can make money. Trust me, car wash makes, makes money. And for the first month, you would have gotten 10,000 ringgit easily, right? If you are hardworking enough. Anyway, uh, that's all for the babbling. Um, enjoy the jam. And uh, cheers. Thank <laughs> you.